to basics with crystal so wish you guys were here in my kitchen tonight I have got Trish behind me look at this really cute apron she made me she's visiting me all the way from um, Louisiana and we've got Dessa Dessa drove about another hour to see us hi ladies say hi hi <laughs> so tonight in the kitchen I am introducing them to a Thai dish that my mom made for my dad the very first meal she ever made for him pork and cucumbers so they are taste testing for me right now and also they taste tested some wine that I made a couple of years back and we have got some rosella tea um, also let me show you guys got a rosella tea right here and we are having a really good time dinner has taken about three hours to make because we're having such a good time let me show you how I did the pork and cucumbers so today we're gonna start with four slicing cucumbers and the first thing I'm gonna do is slice off the bloom end and the stem end and I'm going to take that piece and rub it against the cucumber now this trick is to help remove the bitterness from the cucumber. It's something Mama Lai taught me many, many years ago and it really does work. I'm not too sure how, but it does. So the next thing I'm gonna do is peel all of these cucumbers. Hey y'all, it's Crystal and Roscoe. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified the next time I post a video. We thank you. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to quarter this cucumber and slice them into about half inch thick pieces. Now here's a side note. If you're not fond of the seeds, at this point you can remove the seeds. Or if you're dealing with an older cucumber that has really big seeds, you can remove the seeds at this time. This is still relatively a young cucumber, so we're just gonna leave the seeds in. I really like to keep the cucumber in these small bite-sized pieces. That way you can get a bite of the rice, the cucumber, and the pork all, in, all at one time. Next, I'm gonna be using a piece a piece of garlic that is about three inches long by about an inch and a half wide. And I'm just gonna peel it with using just a, a spoon. The peel just comes right off. And since this is a root, I did wash it very well first. I'm gonna get it completely peeled and remove any bad spots. Now that the ginger root is all washed up, I'm gonna actually julienne this, and I want these pieces about an, a quarter inch thick. Next, we're gonna use one medium onion. And again, I'm just gonna cut these about a quarter inch thick. We're not gonna mince them up, we're gonna leave this very, very rustic. Now I'm going to use six cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna start by smashing each one of the cloves. This will help release the oils that are in the garlic and make it easier for me to remove the peels. Then I'm gonna finely chop up the garlic. Now for this recipe, I'm using a boneless pork butt. I'm using three and a half pounds. We're going to cut it on the bias at about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch thick. Again, you want these small bite-sized pieces. Now I'm gonna get the rest of this chopped up.
Okay, so now that we're all completely prepped, it is time to start cooking. So I'm gonna start with my rice. Now the rice that I am using is a Thai jasmine rice. It's got a ton of flavor and it's very aromatic. Now I'm gonna rinse my rice until the water runs clear, or almost clear. And then I'll put it in my rice cooker and start cooking up the main dish. So now I'm gonna start with my ginger root, garlic, and onions. I'm gonna put it into a hot pan with about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Now here's another side note. You can use whatever oil you prefer. I have the heat at about a medium high. I'm gonna cook down the ginger root, the garlic, and the onions just to where the onions start to become translucent. Now I'll turn the heat back up to a high and add the meat in. Now I am cooking this in two separate batches. Rather than putting it in my big wok and cooking it all at one time, I wanna make it in the smaller batches. So yes, I did use half of everything for each batch. Now I'm gonna turn the heat back down to a, a medium high temperature and I'm gonna let this cook down. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt and I'm gonna let this continue to cook. Stirring it frequently. Now when I can no longer see any pink in the meat, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my cucumbers at this time. And y'all, this dish is so fragrant. It smells amazing. Now you're probably wondering, cooked cucumbers, you just don't hear of that. But trust me, the cucumbers really do absorb the juices from the pork, the garlic, the onions, and the ginger root. It absorbs all of those beautiful flavors. Now if I cook it on a super high heat, the juices from the pork will simply just evaporate out. So I wanna cook it on a medium high heat so that the juices from the pork stay in the pan because they go great over the rice. Now I'm gonna cook this to where the meat is completely cooked and the cucumbers are tender, but they're not mushy. About 20 to 30 minutes. Now once the pork is cooked, you wanna turn the heat completely off and you wanna taste it and make sure that it's got enough salt, uh, it's got enough pepper. And if it doesn't, then you can add some in at this time. All that's left to do is serve it on top of some rice and enjoy. And that, y'all, is how we make pork and cucumbers. Now, this is a dish that you're not gonna find at any Thai restaurant, but it is the dish that my mom made for my dad way back in 1974 in Thailand, shortly after they met. This is the dish 
that not only won my dad's stomach over, but won his heart over as well. Now, traditionally, we do serve this dish with rice. However, if you are low carbing, you can totally leave the rice out. This dish is also super versatile. If you really love cucumbers, you can add more cucumbers or you can add more pork, your choice. And I wanna make a really quick note that when Mama Lai makes this dish, she typically uses just a little bit of fish sauce during the cook process. I did leave it out today, but it's something you can definitely add when you're making this dish in your kitchen. Now you're probably wondering, what on earth does a cooked cucumber taste like? Well, it's kind of like a very mild squash. That's probably the best way to describe it. So it's like a mild squash. It actually absorbs all of the flavors of the ginger root, the garlic, the onions, the pork itself. And let's just take another side note here. Pork and chicken for that matter and ginger root, it is an awesome combination. Anytime you add even the slightest little bit of ginger root, even the dried ground stuff, um, you actually bring out the sweetness in both pork and chicken. So definitely when you're making pork and chicken dishes, definitely try out just a little bit of ginger root. I don't think you'll be disappointed because it really does just kick up that flavor just a little bit more. Now, when I am cooking my cucumbers, I cook, and actually I like all of my vegetables to have just a little bit of bite, not cooked down to a complete mush. I do like them uh, not crunchy, but still with a nice bite to them. That's how I like all of my vegetables. So I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends, and if you haven't done so so far, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I do one of these videos. And until we talk again, definitely try this recipe and y'all be blessed. Bye now.